Hey there folks, today I got my hands on the uh, Toy Story 4 Buzz Lightyear, the one that's hardly poseable at all, like his uh, wing button doesn't work, none of his buttons work, he doesn't have a laser. It says here in the box that he is poseable, but he's actually really not at all. His legs don't even move, uh, but he uh, just went on sale, so I picked him up because I've been thinking I actually really like the head on this guy. It looks more like the updated Buzz than the Signature Collection head. Definitely looks dated, not to mention the skin color is a little more pale. So yeah, I'm going to do a little head swap, taking this newer updated version of Buzz and put it on the body of the Signature Collection, sort of like I did with the Woody in the plush Woody from Toy Story 4, which I think turned out great. And before I get started here, I know that there's these two main screws on his jetpack, but I'm hoping if I can take out these four screws here, I can just remove the piece and swap it with that new head because I actually don't need to take apart anything else really. And I think this might have the same setup here. But yeah, once I got this guy out of the box, his arm goes up and down. He's got a karate chop action, but not with a button. None of these buttons work. His legs don't move up or down, nor at the knees. Uh, his jetpack, obviously no wings, no karate chop button that actually works. But he does have the four same screws. I think I'm going to be able to just remove those and do a quick swap, hopefully. Let's see. All right, I got him apart here. Got those four screws out, and that's all I needed to be able to remove this whole front interface here. And I'm thinking I'm going to be able to get to what's holding this head on right underneath this piece here and there seems to be a few more screws there so I'm gonna see about getting those out and as you can see there's this little plastic piece here that has two more screws in it that's actually holding the head onto this plastic piece and I'm hoping that is the case with this other guy as well and I've got the head off this is two screws is what held it in and I think I'm gonna be able to just do a quick swap with the head on this guy I'm about to take him apart and see exactly how his is connected to the body all right he's all taken apart here and it looks like it's kind of the exact same setup the two screws into a plastic piece but I do think the two screws are a little bit closer together on this new one than the old uh, signature collection here as you can see there's just a little difference in the uh, spacing there between the screws uh, there on the bottom so I might just have to use the new plastic piece that came with that other head and screw that onto the signature collection bottom and I have removed this little piece which is the mechanism that controlled the automatic head movement on the signature collection just cut the wire out and removed it and I was able to screw that new one right in there using the new piece that came on its body and it seemed to have worked out really great I put this one back together fully I'm going to turn it on here and test it out uh, the wings work I fly around this room with my eyes closed. we still have audio I nice. am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. buttons work here and yeah his head still does turn which is cool I'm stationed up in the Gamma Quadrant of Sector 4. Let's see if his laser works. Yep. Here is the Buzz Signature Collection body with the new Toy Story 4 Buzz Lightyear head, which in my opinion looks much better. And this is also the Woody that I've done. It's the plush Toy Story 4 Woody doll with the Signature Collection body. And I've added some shine to his eyes there, which is another video if you want to check that out that I have on my page. But yeah, here are these two looking much, much better and closer to more movie accurate using a little bit of head swaps. Thanks again for watching, guys.